Okay, let's start with today's class. We will talk today about animal behavior, more specific, uh, the bio-inspired uh, robotics. So, uh, we have three goals of today. Uh, first, we uh, like uh, to see what are our relationship from how you control your behavior in animals and how uh, that same behavior can be uh, made in robots. We uh, also try to sketch uh, how the, the robot control is uh, inspired by both neuroscience, psychology and ethology. And what's nice uh, of uh, this whole uh, course is that those three teams will continually inspire us. And we also will see some examples of robots that are made uh, really with it inspired uh, by, by nature uh, in the end. Okay, so um, what we have is we have a, a planet where um, the genetics with it, uh, has worked uh, uh, that, uh, in such a way that the best spe species survive. Um, so by evolution, you have the best solutions uh, for uh, every environment you can encounter on Earth. And we can learn from that because the robots have to live in the, that same uh, circumstances. So if we look what is the ecological uh, equivalent, then uh, we can try to model how animals behave in such an environment. That's a model, so a simplification, uh, but it can work uh, quite well. Um, we can uh, put that model into an algorithm, into code. Uh, we start uh, testing uh, if uh, that, that uh, is work. And uh, based on those experiments, we can uh, modify uh, the model. As a sidetrack, here uh, indicated in, uh, in gray, is when you really implement such a model, it is also gives insight how such uh, a system could work in nature. And you could uh, devise other biological experiments to uh, see if that really is true or not. So you can also use uh, your robotics to think of uh, better biological experiments. <coughs> 